Google Drive assignments in Schoology. 100% possible. However, I told you everything that you could do with assignments in Schoology. But I wanted you to know the limitations that you have using Google Drive and Schoology as far as making assignments. It's not a bad thing. I'm still going to use Google Drive for everything that I store online. However, I just want you to know the limitations so that you can be the most informed person when it comes to how do I need to plan how to make my assignments, make my course in Schoology. I want you to be all that. So I want you to know the limitations so that you can be careful and not get carried away and waste a lot of time using Google Drive assignments when you don't have to. Google Drive assignments have limitations. So let me show you. Okay, so in my Schoology course, when I add an assignment, and we don't, we've talked about this. If you don't know how to make assignments, you need to go watch the other video in the description. We're just talking about, we talked about all these options. If I make a Google Drive assignment, so let's let's just make a test out, testing out assignment. When I make this assignment in Google Drive, and I want to upload something from my Google Drive, journal, whatever it is, and it creates copy for each student. That's great. It's just like Google Classroom. It is absolutely wonderful. However, the problem is when I try to copy this to courses, okay? When I try to copy this to a course, and I do it this way, before I ever click create and I try to copy this to a course, all right, let's make sure I got everything checked. This box is checked. I think, okay, it's in both my courses. I'm good to go. When I click on it here, oh, there's my bell ringer. When I go to my other course that I just put it in, and I want to double check to make sure I click on test, there is nothing there. When I try to edit this, nothing there. I would have to go back in and redo and re-add the Google Drive assignment. I thought, well, okay, let's go try another way. You can copy it straight from here. Let's copy it to courses from there. I know that'll work. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work either. So I tried it a second time. I tried it a different way. I've tried it every way possible that I know. And when I look at this, it is still not there. I would have to manually add the Google Drive assignment to each different course. And I don't know why it's that way. I have no idea. But those are the limitations. I briefly mentioned that in the last video when trying to add something to your resources. We briefly talked about it. But there are limitations to Google Drive as far as, I guess, how quick you can do it. If you use Kami and you use a PDF, you add links, you embed something, all of that stuff will carry over. But Google Drive assignments, you will have to go back in and manually add that for each course. That's why, again, I recommend linking your courses. Okay? Linking your courses is in that the five first things to do in Schoology video. Also link down below if you don't know how to link your courses. But as you can see here, I have these two and these four. So I would only have to make those twice if I was doing the same assignment in both classes. However, again, if you use a PDF, if you use a link, if you use something with Kami, all of that stuff carries over. If it causes a PDF or an image attachment or a link attachment, but Google Drive does not copy from class to class or from class to resources, and you don't even have the option to put it in your resources. So again, Google Drive assignments are great. It makes a copy for each kid. You're just going to have to do remake it in each individual class or at least reattach the file. So I wanted you to be aware of that. Be careful when using Google Drive because I don't want you to waste your time or to get in class one day and you thought that one class had the assignment and there's nothing there and it's just blank. That's what I don't want to happen to you. So again, that's what I'm here for. 
if you know of a way to do it, you can let me, but I, I cannot find it anywhere. Um, I've asked several people, watched a bunch of videos. Nobody seems to have the answer to that. So maybe Schoology will figure that out and add it before too long. And this video will be obsolete. But until then, those are your options. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, you know what to do by this point. And I'm happy to help you any way that I can. You just let me know how I can help you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it.